in this video we're going to go through the masking kit that we created for the perfect grade 172 uh, Millennium Falcon this is a masking kit that you're going to use to do a paint option versus the decal option um, that's provided with the kit uh, our masking kits have the notches that are around all the little panels that you've probably noticed um, to help minimize any um, amount of masking that you'll need to do if you're going to do the paint option yourself. Also we're going to go through some steps that we found that work really great for a chipping effect to try and create either the same look as the decals have or the same look that the ship has or just create your own look that you want to have. So what we'll do is we'll go through uh, what all comes with the kit and with the kit you're going to get three sheets of uh, this gray uh, mask. Now it's kind of a, a really pliable mask it's soft it's uh, almost on the rubber side and you, this is the layout you're going to get these are for decal replacements between 1 to 39 40 to 40 or 73 74 to 100 um, these uh, you can't really see the cuts too well I mean if you if you hold the light in the right area you can see that and yeah, we also are going to be providing a 39 page instruction guide that's going to go over the placement of each one of these and where the best place to start and what you need to do. There are some masks that um, or some sections that you'll have to add masking tape after because there's just no way of getting a mask to fit uh, flush on the model with all the little pipes and protrusions that they have. But in our um, in our uh, masking kit or the instruction guide we're going to give you the sheets here that show you exactly which decal you're going to be using and where it comes from so it's uh, easy to use. Also we're going to have um, stuff like this is what you're going to see you're going to see this is for decal number two and it's going to show you a picture of where it's placed it's going to show you the decal it's going to show you where to start um, this one's kind of starting right at a notch and then work around now these masks will show you, you can kind of put them on take them off put them on take them off so don't think that once they're down they're they're permanent you can move them around and adjust them just so they fit exactly where you want so your green air our green arrow shows you going this way you might find it's easier going this way. Now there's um, uh, most of them fit pretty flush to to the uh, hull itself but any time it goes up next to a, re or a rise that will be a different kind of an installation. Uh, you can see right here on this one this is the one that's near the front on the on the grips. This we can only mask around the outside of this so this little part right here this is where the blue is where you're going to need to put some masking tape. We'll show you that too. Also what we've done um, like she, uh, decal number three here has a little protrude or a little square box that sits right here, and it's actually yellow on the um, on the decal. So what we've done is we've given you both. We've given you the inside and the outside. So what you do is you take the outside. That's what you'll do to paint this section in here, and then once you do that, you take all this off, put the middle part back on, and just remove the mask that's where that little arrow is, and then you can spray that yellow, and that kind of resembles the the decal. And you can see right here, here's as long as it doesn't shine too much on here with the camera, but you can hear here you can see if we put it this way. You can see here's decal three. Here's that little yellow box I'm talking about. So we'll actually get give you that so you can paint that on. Um, but this is kind of what we're gonna create. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the model and we'll pick one of these sections and we'll start uh, placing one of these on and we'll go through all the steps and how we're doing the chipping. And then after that's done, then I'm going to go through all of the uh, um, masks that have a little bit more difficulty installing. And then you can kind of get a feel and see how everything's going. So let's get to the model and uh, we'll start on that. Okay, so what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with one of the ones on the bottom. Uh, I like to do when I'm doing ships or doing any kind of models. If I'm doing something different that I haven't done before, I usually do it on a place that's um, people are not going to see that much just in case the first attempt doesn't work well you know at least I want to get a comfort level of what I'm doing so we're going to start on the bottom we're going to start with one of the red panels uh, it'll show up a little better on video than the light gray ones or the or the the buff ones or the whatever that light tan is so we're going to start with this one right here number 77 which sits right in here number 77 is found on sheet obviously 74 to 100 so what you want to do is if you've got a light kind of in front of you just uh, not straight up and down but like on a 45 degree angle you can kind of see all these cuts but what you want to do is you just want to pull off the outside part of it. we're going to leave the inside like I said that's going to be that's going to be used 
on some of the other ones. You can even use it if you wanted to protect it after the fact. So we've got number 77 here. It's going to get this out of the way. I'm going to try and install this without getting my head in the camera. So like I said, I don't know if you can kind of see this, but you can see how how the, all the little the little uh, notches have been in, uh, cut out. So that helps you deal with all the little notches that are here. Now we show a place to start. So what we're doing on here is we're saying start where these two notches are side by side and then move your way around. And like I said, you can put this down, you can pick it up, and you can put it right back on the sheet. So save the sheet, put it right back down, just in case you have a problem on a section that you didn't like and you have to re-sand all this down. You've got the mask, you can redo this again. So hopefully without uh, me getting my head in the camera, we're going to start just down where these two are here. With the shadows, it makes it a little bit more difficult. You can see how the little notches line up. And then work your way around. And like I said, it's kind of a rubber mask, so it's it's easy to pull and lay down. And then this part of the mask just doesn't really touch anything. It just sits there so there's no overspray that goes down in the bottom for you. And then this, there's a pipe right here, so we want to just tap this in. Now, like I said, this ma these masks don't sit down too strong, so you don't have to worry about pulling paint up. So what you might have to do is you might just have to tap this in as you paint um, as, and, and go on from there. So once we've got this on, what we're going to do is we're going to give this a shot because we're creating this, this paint chip. We're going to use the, um, the uh, hairspray method. And what we found is we just went and bought... Um, a non non aerosol kind of um, hairspray is all it is, and all all we do is we just use this straight out of out of here. We put it in our airbrush, give this area about five coats of of the spray, some light spray, and let it dry, and then we'll paint over top of that. Now, one of the nice things about the hairspray method is if you had a piece where, let's say this this square right here, you didn't want to have the red color we're putting on. If you hairspray this, then paint the red, you'll see what the way the chipping is. We can actually remove all that red right away, so it's not an issue. Especially if you've got um, some other parts that are sticking through, like if this if this pipe actually got painted red. Once you had the hairspray on there, you could just you could just easily scrape that right off, and it comes right off with water. You'll see that too. So, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to put some masking tape around this and get this thing ready. I'm going to go in and shoot this with hairspray. Then we'll come right back and we'll continue on from there. Okay, well you can see we've got, uh, we taped this all off and we gave this probably three or four coats of uh, hairspray. And I, I know some of you are probably going to ask the question, if this is not an aerosol, why wouldn't you just take this and spray it on? Um, the nice thing about the airbrush is then I, I have a control of how much I'm putting on. I don't know how much this thing's going to put on, so I don't want globs and stuff to go on. So that's why we use the airbrush. So you can see with the mask that we provided, the gray one, how much easier it is to tape a section off for painting. You're not worried about all those little notches now. We looked after all that for you. So we're going to let this dry for five minutes or so, and then we're going to give this our coat of red. Now, what we've come up with is um, we the, everyone talks about colors, how colors scale down. So whatever color you saw on the on the big ship, when it's when the ship is now this size, it actually should be muted or not really as bright as you think it should be because that's just going to make it uh, look like a toy. To me, these are way too bright, way too much red in these to, um, to look correct. Even though we're going to be doing a lot of wash over that, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to uh, just change up the color. So what we're using is we're using a, um, an acrylic paint or a craft paint. What we've been using a lot is the craft paints. They're a lot cheaper. They're still made by the same companies who kind of do model paint. So it just it just works well for us and it's a lot easier to use. So what we found is we found this one called Brick Red. And um, there's a, some differences with the, the gray and the white. Um, what we've done is we kind of just did a quick little test. And it's kind of a pink look. But when you look at the model um, on like the pictures of the real model, we're kind of more into this line. So we were about 50% of the red, 50% of the gray gave us this. And once we do the chipping and then we do the wash over it, everything's going to kind of mute down and it's going to look a lot better. You can see how much difference that is compared to the red that's with the decals. So 
What's, that's what we're going to do. So now this is dried, we're going to mix up some paint. We're going to go and give this a shot and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, well we've got our uh, three or four coats of this brick red put down and uh, we'll move on. But uh, we've got some leftover paint here. So what, what I do and what I've been telling other people on the other uh, masking instruction videos we've got is so if you take yourself some duct tape, just put it on here. This will stay um, in a liquid state for probably a week or two. Uh, it might get a little thicker. All you do is add a little thinner and then you're right back to it just in case you need to redo another area or that. Um, I'm, I'm not going to say touch up an area because it's like the worst the worst paint job you can do on the Falcon that actually makes it look the best. So um, yeah, so that'll save those for you. So and we'll just take all this stuff off because we don't need this masking tape anymore. And just be careful because you want to keep the gray sheet just, they can move around like that, it's, it's okay. And then just bring back your sheet that you took it off of. Just find a side of it, pull it up. You should be able to put this as close to it, as close to putting it back as you can. I mean, you can, you don't have to. You can discard it, but who knows what'll happen? There you go. Or at least it tells you that one you've done, so you can move on to the next ones. Okay, so we're going to let this sit for a bit, and then we're going to come right back, and uh, we're going to start. Um, uh, doing the uh, the chipping on this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I took a photocopy of the of the decal sheet, and this is a, a print off just of what what uh, the decal looks like. So we can try and mimic that on this. We'll try and do that for this. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, uh, whatever. We'll just get our own stuff going here. Uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need some water. You're going to need a brush that's got pretty. Uh, stiff bristles on it. Uh, this one actually came a little bit longer. I just chopped it down and actually thinned it out a bit so it's it's almost like a bristle brush. Um, a toothpick helps uh, to get little teeny points like this and then there's also these little plastic brushes. It's got a little brush on the end. Pretty much anything you can use to kind of scrape away at it. Now there's no rush to get going on this right away. It's um, I've tried it um, the day we painted it, I tried it two days after we painted it, and I tried it three days after we painted it, and it still worked three days after we painted it. So it does last quite a while. Um, the only thing I would say is once you've chipped this, so I guess that's a good thing, is you can chip a little bit today and then leave this and then come back tomorrow or the next day and go, yeah, I just need to add a little bit more over here, go ahead and do it. Once you're satisfied with it, then give this, this area here a clear coat because once you move on to your next stage where you're gonna be doing all your weathering and that, if this thing gets wet or, or saturated, it's gonna just reactivate and chip even more. So you wanna put a clear coat over that. That'll stop everything to, um, as in its tracks and uh, you can continue on. But you can see we, we've taken everything off and everything looks pretty good, so we're gonna move on. We're gonna just start here on the top and all you need is just a little bit of water. And you just wanna kinda of just put a little bit of water on this and let it soak in to, uh, to the paint. I mean, it might even start right away, but. Okay, we'll let that sit for a bit. And just see as it's drying, we're just gonna add a little bit more. You can see here how it's starting to activate. So it, like I was saying, um, this little panel, let's say this little panel right in here, you didn't wanna have um, red. If you start working at this now, you can pretty much take all the red right off it. And that would come in handy if you've got like these little protrusions here or maybe this round thing in the pipe uh, if you're painting this area. That's where that's going to help. But you can see how it doesn't take much to get these off. You're touching very, very lightly. And it looks like everything seems to be going kind of an, on an angle this way. So that's the way we're going to work it. And I'm going to start with the brush here and see how this works. And we're just going to just kind of just start chipping very lightly because it doesn't take much. I 
And the satisfying thing about this is you can tell everyone that you painted it and did all the chipping yourself. And it depends on how you want to do this. And like I said, you can bring the toothpick in to, to get little areas. You don't have to chip much. So I'm not following that exactly. I'm just kind of just kind of using it as a guideline and then chip some of the edges so it doesn't look like a perfect paint job. That's what I was saying is anything any bad paint job on this looks good so just wherever you think wear and tear would happen. You know, someone's going in here, so it's going to have a little bit of wear and tear along these edges. Now I noticed there was one, there was one decal on the decal sheet that had um, these. Most of these are white. Uh, there was one decal on there. I can't remember which one it was. It actually had black on it. Uh, I can't. Oh yeah, here it is. It's actually number seven. It looks like there's black and then the white. So what you could probably do is paint paint that section black um, and then put your white paint over top of that, chip that, then seal it, then put the hairspray over the white, then put your gray color over top of that and then you kind of create levels of chipping, right? Just gonna add a little bit more water on these. And see how easy it comes off though. I really like that hairspray idea versus trying to um, trying to do this in paint. And so you just kind of kind of create your own little thing here. I think the toothpick works the best in here for the smaller pieces anyway it's a little bit more exacting where the the brush tends to pick off quite a bit more but if the depending on the panel if the panel has lots of uh lots of chipping on it then use the brush use whatever you want to use do whatever you want to do everyone's model is their own model let's dry in there Sometimes it's better not to do it exact. Do it your own, because then you don't have, you're always going to get people that are going to say that's not exact, that's not exactly the way the ship is. This way it's your own. Nobody's going to look into that kind of detail. I want this piece to show up, so let's take that off. Like I said, if you're happy with it today, seal it tomorrow or seal it later on today if you're not happy with it do some more chipping tomorrow there's no rush I just think there's more uh, satisfaction that you created it versus uh, it was a, a decal you put down so once it dries um, once this is all dried use a dry brush like just get yourself a just kind of a, a just a brush that's not wet once this is all dried and just kind of go over it and get all the loose flakes off and then if you're happy with it go ahead and seal it um, you know get it with a, a clear I'm, I'm probably going to use a clear mat uh, I don't want to see a gloss on there I want to see a clear mat because that's the way that we've got the rest of this starting so I'll do that and then we'll just move on to another panel and continue on with all the reds or move around and uh, change it up a little bit do a little bit of gray a little bit of um, the tan color ones or the yellow or just kind of have fun at it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to move on. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go through uh, the masks that come with the kit. And the ones that are standard like this that are an easy fit that go down, I'm not going to go over those because that's pretty much self-explanatory with this one. The ones we're going to talk about are ones that ride like right along here and then go up, up where this turret is. 
those will be different. Um, some of them will run along here and then rise along here. Those, there's a uh, way you can put those on. Um, just like that, anything we co I come up with that um, needs to be uh, shown, we'll show you and then uh, that'll be that and we'll go on from there. All right. Okay, we just use a hair dryer on this just to get the paint all dried up and then we're just gonna go over, like I said, with a brush, just get all the loose parts off. <laughs> And uh, we'll leave that and see how, how we like that. If uh, if we like it, we're going to clear it. If not, we'll go back and add some more or maybe paint some more red over it and redo it again. Whatever. it's Like I said, you've got three days to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go through some of the, the masking for this. And I'll see if I can cover uh, most of it here for you and show you what, uh, what we need to do. Okay, there's one just right here at number 78. So what we'll do is we'll find our sheet and this will tell you kind of where where everything, sorry not 78, 76. So this will show you a layout and it's actually on top right next to 77. Lift this one up. Now I don't want to put, the other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to, there's some, some pieces that have multiple patterns. I'm going to show you right here on the, on this if you can see this. So this is the 77 we just did. 93 sits right in here, so I wouldn't do 93 until you actually have this clear coated because this like I said there's that um, This will still chip a couple days after so if you put a mask over top of this You could end up pulling some of this paint off so I'd clear coat all this before you move it on to anything that touches So we're not going to do 93. We're going to do 76 which is kind of away from everything and uh, I said this will show you this will show you where how things go here so on this one this one really doesn't sit on a panel now it's if you've got a magnifying glass it actually helps to work with a magnifying glass I'm trying to stay away from that so I'm gonna just kind of start it right on this corner right in here hopefully I don't have things in the way but you just kind of get it started and then work your way and you'll see there's a natural area that it actually sits on I said you can play with this you can move it pick it back up reposition it and then this bottom one just kind of an area it just sits right on that panel line now once you get um, I'll just show you guys this once you get to where this now has to rise, try and do this side first, like this bottom side, and then use your tweezers and get it flat. Then you'll be able to to get that piece to sit up. Let me see, does that show up fine? Okay. So that'll be that one. This is 78. It's gonna sit right in here. So what's 78? So going on here, see how there's a white line here? So this mask is actually slit. Because uh, there's no way of getting this to sit flat on on the model and then have this part sit on the turret all in one piece. So let's pull that one off. So that one's right here. I always say start at the notches or right at the corners. So let's start with uh, this notch right in here. If I don't get it right on don't worry, they do fit right on. It's just I don't want to use the magnifying glass right now because it's just going to be in the way of the camera. And then work your way around. You can see how it fits in place. And just like before, do this all the way to here. And then you can bring this piece down. So hopefully that kind of shows you how that one fits in. That's any of the ones that have a slice on them. There's one right here on the back. This one right here, number 86. Now the only thing we've done is we've just done this edge and this edge for you because there's really no use to having anything else on there. So that one is just, again, you just grab it, pull it off, start it on a corner, or right where those two notches are. Way down.
And then all you do is you just mask or just let this sit over and just paint that one. So that's the way that one is. Like I said, the, the sheets like this kind of basically show you where to start and where to go around. So there's one for every mask we've got here. So there's, like I said, there's 38 pages on that uh, instruction guide for this. Okay. On this side, there's this decal is two. It's 91. So we've actually got a 91 gray and a 91 red. So we're going to do the 91 red. And that one sits right down in here. It's actually a two piece. You have a piece for the lower section and then a piece for the upper section. So 91, we're going to pull this off. So anyway, you get the idea on that one. So there's, there's like this one has two. And the reason it has two is because it just doesn't, it just doesn't bend correctly around that turret. So you can put that one on and then finish off the other one kind of gets you that idea. I said you can take a little bit more time using the magnifying glass to get them in. I'm just kind of showing you the the methods to lay these down. 53. 53 has a couple of decals. It actually sits, it does kind of this whole corner area. So what we've done is we've done it on one mask. So number 53. This is where 53 sits and there's actually a slice right, right in here. Let's take 53 off. Now what we want to do is we want to start right where this this corner is, this little Z corner. Start it right in the middle. Now I, we don't have our landing gear in or the piece that goes inside so you can use this for either or. But you just want to start it right, put this corner right inside there. And then, then this mask here you can touch down and then fold this mask over and it sits right there. Now this one just follows the line. Make sure you have this line running parallel with this. Down. And then fold this around. And there you go. Now you're ready to paint number 50, 53 red. Okay, this panel right here, number 16. So what we're going to do is we're going to find this one. It's actually this guy right here. This one doesn't have any notches on it, so you just start kind of right in the corner here. And then just in the... So what this one does, this one... This one gives you this line, this line, this line, and the line along here. We don't have one that sits right along here or this way. Uh, just too hard to put on the mask and I don't even know where it would fit. So these are the ones when you look at 16 or let me see if I've got one on here. Yeah, like you'll see, this is number three though, but you'll see this little blue indication. This in, That indication says that we need, you need to put some masking tape right there just to finish this one off. Okay. So that's that kind. Okay, 69 sits right up in here. So that one is just at the bottom. Once you've do, done a few of these, you're gonna see how they kind of go down. So you really don't need to follow the instructions and do them exactly as we're showing you how to do them, but uh, you kind of get the gist of it. Okay, so that's, that's the way that covers 69. Done, ready to paint. Okay. I'm going to find one for you that has the uh, the two-step method on it. Okay, one of the ones you're going to use the insides are these two here. One's 18, one's 19. And they sit right in there, so let's find those two. And we'll do 18 first. So you get the outer piece. Now this one, just start in one of the corners and work your way around. So that, that'll allow you to do the paint of the gray. Now once you've got the gray done, you can take this piece off and just put it back on here. Now 18 has these little, there's little teeny notches. Right there. 
So you take those pieces off the center part and lift this off. So now this has all been painted gray and you've done your chipping and everything. Lay that right over top, mask that off, paint those yellow. Or sorry, red on the red on the decal. Okay, so that's the way those work. I'm trying to find ones that are a little bit more. 50, let's do 50. 50 is getting down along this back end here. Now, um, we didn't put any of those pieces on here because we knew we had to paint paint these or or you're going to decal them either one. So you, these those pieces you would put on after. But right now we're going to do uh, number 50. 50 sits right here. So 50 is this guy right here. So what you want to do here is start this. There's little notches, little notches on either side. That's kind of where we line up all these ones down here. You just want to line the first one up. And that goes around. Now this one we've made it so it sits on, on top of these, um, wherever these sprues are that sit on top. So we've done that so you can actually um, get that and then paint that. Uh, either or, or if you can, if this piece is installed, you can just lay this down and then uh, paint this one gray and you're good to go on 50. Let's cut around everything for you. 51 is almost exactly the same, only it doesn't have that sprue in line. You can use this notch if you want and line it up that way. And once you have it lined up, everything should fall right in place for you. Okay. All right, this one. Um, there's two of these in the kit. One of them, they sit right in here. The one of them, uh, if you have the landing gear down or the um, the path, the ramp down, and one with it uh, just closed off. So what we've done is we've supplied two of these for each one, and that is. So the first one's 23. So 23 is that one that you're going to have uh, a center section that you can paint. So this one kind of sits, and same thing, it's got the notches which sit right over top of these notches. So that's where you kind of just lay this guy down. And then you can paint this kind, kind of a, I guess it's like a tan color. And then once you paint this color tan, then you can pull this one off. You can either put it on another sheet of paper, wax paper, or whatever. Now on these one, there's four. Just put it over there for now. There's these four things, which are the, they're all black. So we, what we've done is we've included those. So now you just take this, and you say you already have that painted tan. Um, Put a clear coat on it because you're probably going to have some chipping on it. Put a clear coat on it before you put this on. And then just lay this right over top. And it, now it, it has the notches cut in for you. So you kind of just lay that right in. Paint that black. Now it matches the, the decal. Okay. Uh, 21, 22, they're the same. They just, they're just squares. They just fit in there so that that's easy to do that. Okay, well I don't have my bottom painted up, but at least I can show you, uh, or sorry, the top, at least I can show you what uh, what we're doing, how we're doing with the mask. So this is number 26, it sits right in here. So what this one does, you'll see in the instructions we talk about to the left and the right side of the ridges. If you can see, there's just these, these little ridges that are right here. And we thought that was a good place just to put the mask. So for 26, You kind of start just on this ridge right here. Hopefully you can see that. That's where I'm going to start my mask, on the other side of the ridge. And then just run along the top. Now, there's this is one of those ones where there's little notches on the top. And we put the notches in for you. The problem is there's not a lot of 
there's not a lot of meat here. There's only maybe a half a millimeter of models that sits there. So there's enough for the mast to sit if you leave the mast standing straight up like it is. If you push the mast down, what ends up happening is these notches pop up. So then you have to do some more masking. So what I would do is I would say, leave these, leave that mask up, and then if you want, maybe, maybe a better idea would be to take a piece of masking tape, and just fold it over, or however you want to do it, and maybe just place it behind there. That might stop. Like all you want to do is you just don't want that mask to fall down, um, so you get overspray. But you also want these notches to, to do what they're supposed to do and that stop the paint from going in there. So that's one, one idea you can have. Eighty nine sits right up in here. So let's pull this one off. So I'm just going through the ones that are cut a little strange. But you'll see why, once we put them on, why they're cut like this. So again, you want to just start in a corner or right next to a notch. Line it up. You see we're trying to find, trying to fit around everything else here. So this one goes to this, this kind of, um, this kind of raised area. And then we go along the turret and then down at the bottom. So now what happens is I have this area here. That I don't have a mask. That's where you'll need to put some masking tape in that, because uh, it was just there's no way I could have extended this one to go over this and then all over all this. It would never stick anyway. So that's one you'll have to um, put some put some tape on that one. Okay, number nine. This one right here. This one kind of sits right in here. So what we want to do is number nine. So this one is a little notch on the mask that sits right in here. That's kind of where you want to start this guy. And then you can move to the back following that line. And then it follows underneath in there. That's your number nine. Okay. Does that show up already? And when I'm pulling them off it looks like they're not uh, pressed down. That's just because we're just placing them in place just to kind of show you. Once you go to painting you can push down. You can either use your hands or your fingers or just grab yourself a q-tip and go around all the edges and make sure they're all pressed down so everything fits nice. Um, number 12 is kind of an interesting one. Number 12 is this whole section right in here. Now the problems with this one is all this piping. Again, you can't make the mast stick. Plus this whole piece here, there's kind of an underlying here. So we've done what we can do for you. And that is... That's it. That's all you get. But it helps you out a little bit. They're not all like this, but there are some that we just had trouble coming up with a plan that would work for everybody and it wasn't working and so. So this one will go all the way to the end and right up the edge for you and then down to here and just to the bottom of the piping. Hope you can see that. So now You'll need to mask this area to this area to paint this. And like I said, if you, the nice thing about the hairspray and the chipping thing, if you get paint on this, it doesn't matter because you'd probably have hairspray on it if you've got paint on it because the mask is sitting there. And you just clean that off and you're ready to go. But at least it gives you some of that stuff anyway. We wanted to do all the masks for you, but some of them were just a little bit uh, more trying than the others. All right, here's another one. The 67 right here. This has all of this stuff and a lot of this stuff you don't put on it's already on there or some isn't so anyway it was we did it the way with everything on it so that you just have to pull this one off 
and then you can see what kind, what kind of shape this one is. And we're going to start the bottom corner down in here. Now there's this little piece right here that sits underneath and it'll kind of help just pick up that area for you. And you can go around. And you can't really see, but that little piece that was right in here, this piece is just riding underneath these uh, pieces here. So it kind of gives you a, a good, a good. Uh, I mean, most of the masking we've done for you, there's still some you have to do, but um, at least you're not, have, you're not having to do it all yourself, so. All right, around this, uh, the radar dish there, there's, they, this is all one decal. Deco 94. What we've done is we've split this up into three for you, so that's what you'll see for that. Uh, so we've called them uh, A, B, and C. You'll be able to figure out which one is which just by the shape of them, and, and they're all they're all on here. 94 A, B, and C. So let's grab some of those. So this one. I think you kind of get the hang of it, so where everything sits. So it's they're actually fairly easy, self-explanatory. They've been cut really as close as we can possibly cut them within 0.1 of millimeters. So, so this one is doesn't have any any mask that goes around here. You'll have to put some masking tape around there to to get that one to sit. You see, they're not really they're not delicate masks. You can manhandle them and. You won't have problems with them. I said pick them up, put them back in, reposition. Not a big deal. Most of the time they just kind of fall in place. Okay. So I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through a few of them that we we have some issues with, but not issues, just uh, I guess technical ways of putting them down. Let's see if we can find another one. Okay, here's an area I haven't showed you yet, all the way around uh, these docking areas. So the first, the top one is 97. So what we've done for 97, if you see it here. It's only a three-sided mask. We have nothing going up the top. That's something. It's just a little bit of masking tape, so I didn't even bother thinking of creating a mask in there. So let's just take 97 off, and we'll show you that one. So this one, you might need a toothpick or something or another set of hands. So what you want to do, I want to make sure I get the light right. You can start on either side. Just start at the back. Push it all the way to the back. And get it started. And then it just falls over the top, over the front, and then heads to the back. So the only thing you'll need to do is you'll need to put a little bit, bit of masking tape on the top side or on the, the vertical side. But that's the way, that's the way those work. Number four and five sit right on the front here. Show you those ones. So number five sits right here. So you can see these little notches. These notches are these little notches right in here. So that's kind of a good place to start if you want. Or even better is you have a little ridge here. Start on this side of the ridge and just follow inside. So this piece. And right along the ridge, like I said, on, on this side, and then back around. This is where you got to let it fall underneath. So let's get that. 
and then you can bring this side back up. And then this piece just kind of just oversits. It, it just keeps the whole mass together. The only thing you'll have to do is mask over top of these uh, rails, but uh, that'll keep that piece in place for you. Other than that, I think all the rest are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, you kind of seen some of the challenges we had and some of the ways we're putting them on, so you can kind of uh, get a feel for that. Hopefully that helps you with your kit if you want to do a paint replacement or a deco replacement uh, with the masks. And uh, yeah, hope they, hopefully that all works out for you. Um, if you want, um, the order forms for these will be on our Facebook page under um, you'll see at the end of the of the uh, video and that'll explain where where to find all the order forms also our emails there so if you if you ordered one or you're doing a kit and you're having some issues with it you can always there's lots of people all around the world that are helping out you can get on facebook page and uh, get some answers that way or you can just email us direct and we'll usually get back to you within an hour or so and and go from there but uh, hopefully you can uh, this works out for you and uh, you can post some pictures on our Facebook page on how your build's going and show everyone else how it's going. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, continue on working on this and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.